Hello everyone, it's the Asuma Bird here bringing you the Asuma as always. And welcome to a Let's Play Slide 2 Band of Thieves. Uh, it's not. It's probably. Uh, I don't know how to put it. It's a good game. Uh, it has memorable moments, both good and bad, that I'm gonna point out throughout this Let's Play. Now, it's actually been a long time since I've actually touched this game, so I'm gonna be a little rusty at first, but it's a Sly Cooper game, I can get it. Get back to it. And, um, I'm thinking of which one to, uh, destroy, cause I was, uh... Cause I was thinking... Cause I have to erase something, so I'm gonna go ahead and erase the, uh, Steroid Eyed Encounter, that's later in the game. Not too far, though. So, uh, let's go ahead and start. And, uh, this is... Explain the... That... I'll explain everything during the LP, but now I am quiet. Secret Alpha Foxtrot, this is the wizard. Do you read me, Sitting Duck? This is Peking Duck. I hear you, Blizzard. No, Sly, I'm the wizard, and you're Sitting Duck. I read you loud and clear, Lizard. No, I, I'm... Forget it, you're not taking this seriously. Yeah, I'm not. Look, Bentley, I know this is your first time out in the field, but you've got to loosen up. If we're going to get to those clockwork parts, I need you on your toes. So in plain talk, what's your status? Well, I've established myself in the basement, and I'm pretty sure I can rewire the service elevator if you can power it up from that security station. Hang tough, pal. It might take some time, but I'll figure out a way to get up there. Actually, no time at all. But, uh, welcome to Cairo. Uh, you can see this is a pretty hippin' hoppin' place. And, uh, I'm gonna drop down to show you, bam! These water lilies, lilies are referenced in the first game. Uh, this is, that was Ry Riley's, excuse me, Riley's, uh, Lily pads that were used, and I think only high class heights. I don't know what that's a reference to. I think that's just an engine. But, uh, it's been a while since I played this game, and, uh, you know what? I, I think this will be a good let's play. They did add a lot of stuff to it, such as a health bar. I still got hacking stuff. It, it has changed a little bit. We'll get there when that happens. But, uh... Oh my god. I was rec I recorded the... Uh, update for today. It's still the same day as the update. It's 26, 2012. And it just looks beautiful outside. Oh my god, the sun sh shining. The wind is nice. Oh my god, it looks perfect. And we just got done with a tropical storm the past pretty well. couple days, few days. This operation is far from complete. Now that the lasers and spotlights are offline, Murray should be moving into position for your rendezvous. I'll stay here and provide computer support while you go on ahead. They do have the perfect voice actors for this. Uh, sorry about that. Now, this hall actually references basically Sly 1. Oh, you have Riley right there. I don't know who the hell that is. I think that might be his father. I don't know. But, uh, turn around and, uh, you'll see the Panda King on that wall. Uh, Murray, I think. Some other paintings and stuff. Mugshot. 
Riley again. And uh, surprisingly, I, I didn't see Ms. Ruby. Thank you. You're all, You're all doing a great job. I love the voice acting. According to my information, the clockwork parts are being stored up there. Now to get access, you're gonna have to meet up with Murray at the rendezvous point. Unfortunately, the route through the garden is filled with guards. No problem. I'll just take the long way around. If memory serves, you need to jump and hit the circle button to run along ropes. Yeah, so this is kind of tutorial-ish. Go ahead and break stuff to get coins, because uh, coins play a different role in this game, as I'll explain a little bit later. But, uh, once it, uh, I keep saying uh, a lot. It's basically, uh, damn it, I did it again. It teaches you, basically, all the tricks you need to know. It basically brings back... Murray. Yeah. I've got a feeling he's close by, but it basically tells you the raccoon rail walk. It doesn't mention the spire jump that much, but try- Greetings, citizen. I hope you weren't harmed by my meteoropic entrance. No, Murray, I, I kept it a safe distance. Good, good. The Thunderflop knows neither friend nor foe, only destruction. Yeah, could you maybe channel some of that raw energy into the security gate? Of course. It is nothing before the Murray. The Murray. God. How he has changed in the years. So, uh, more coins to you. Uh, there's not that much beginning in the game though, but it'll pick up, don't worry. Another barrier stands before you. Fear not, I shall bend it like the truth. Solid work, Murray. You're really in the zone. My hulking frame is too much for that puny rope. You go ahead and unlock the doors from the inside. I'll be waiting in the hallway to help you carry out the clockwork parts. So, going back up and we're going to get clockwork parts. Now, uh... Pretty decent hole in this thing, and damn it, another cutscene. I don't get it, Sly. The clockwork parts should be here. This is all wrong. We need to pull the plug on this operation right now. Freeze, Cooper. Inspector Fox, as beautiful and unpredictable as ever. Whereas you crooks are so predictable, you always return to the scene of the crime. Crime? I haven't stolen anything. Yet. Oh, really? Then who broke in last night and made off with all the clockwork parts? You've got the motive. Someone already stole the parts? Don't play dumb with me. It might not have been him, Comlita. The method of entry and guard casualties all point to this being a claw gang job. The claw gang? Constable Neela, I allowed you to sit in on this stakeout as a favor to the Contessa. I really don't need any help. Oh, I think you might. Look at the facts. Facts! Sly Cooper is right here. I caught him red-handed. I'm just saying that there are other criminals in the world other than... Sly Cooper! After him! And Carmelita's back. <laughs> now I think she changed. They got her a different voice actor for this game and the next game. Don't know why they kind of kept it same throughout the most characters, most characters, or at least stuff like Bentley, Mary, Sly. But it doesn't really bother me. It's a pretty good voice. I like the voice, Carmelita. It's more young. You know what I'm saying? Not like... It, Montoya Fox is supposed to be like Italian. Oh, oops. Hold still! 
Sorry about that. Um, each. I was thinking about something else. Oh yeah, you know the whole name Montoya. You think she's Italian? So uh, I think they get either this game or the next game gave her a really heavy. Well, not really heavy, but still keeps the Italian accent. It's weird. But that's just me. I thought she was from Paris, so she should have a Paris voice. Cause that's just me. My ideas. But uh. I don't know what else to talk about. I keep saying a lot. This is post commentary, by the way. So I thought I would be more prepared for this. But I kind of been sitting on a brain fart for a while. But hey, I got a lot of cutscenes to work with. Carmelita's just as angry as ever. She's really quite lovely when she's angry. And that constable Neela. Was a reference to the Claw Gang just a slip of the tongue, or an intentional clue? Either way, it's her only lead on the missing clockwork parts. Clockwork. He was consumed with jealousy for the Cooper Clan's thieving reputation. Is it inappropriate to refer to him as a monster? No, not at all. What kind of person stays alive for hundreds of years with the express intention of wiping out a rival's family line? Imagine the hatred fueling that first decision to replace his mortal body with soulless machinery. Ultimately, it did the trick. Clockwork lived on. He caught up with my parents, and I wound up in an orphanage. It's there that I met my pals, Bentley, the brains of our outfit, and Murray, the brawn. They turned out to be all the family I needed. Two years ago, I thought I'd finished it. How naive to think I could so easily put an end to that kind of hatred. And now he's back. In pieces, sure, but the threat is real. Does the Claw Gang even realize what they've stolen? I don't know what's in my future, but I won't let it be a repeat of my past. And that, my friends, is Sly 2 Bands of Thieves. So, next time on Let's Play Sly- No, I'm not gonna end it like that. I mean, yes, that would be a perfect ending, but I wanna get the intros and the tutorials out of the way, because there's gonna be a whole bunch of tutorials, just because they basically opened up the game a little bit, in transition from Sly 2, Sly 1 to Sly 2, excuse me. So, you can watch movies, but, uh, this game does worlds and cities into different episodes. So episode run has uh, this guy. Who the hell is this guy? Everybody who's played Sly Cooper series know who this guy is. I mean, he's a freaking a funny ass character. But uh, let's go ahead and start the episode. The Black Chateau. Guy looks crazy. I had to call in a few favors to get the goods on the Claw Gang's local operator. Dimitri, a sort of underworld celebrity, equally at home in high-class art circles and shady back-alley crimes. He was once a passionate young art student who worked hard to develop his own visionary style. Unfortunately, the art world wasn't quite ready for his kinetic aesthetic. So he gave them what they wanted, and started forging old masterpieces. His way of punishing those with bad taste. Dimitri now runs a nightclub on the west side. The thumping music, colorful light shows, and a hint of danger lure in chic young patrons from far and wide. And it's here, hidden somewhere, where we'll find the clockwork tail feathers. What Dimitri plans to do with the clockwork part is beyond me. But those plans end tonight. Sly Cooper and the gang in the Black Chateau.
Now this takes place in in uh Sly's hometown, or well, everybody's hometown technically. In Paris, France. I'm assuming this is a uh, there's the Eiffel Tower. That's in the background, you actually cannot go to it. It'd been awesome if you get could go to it, but you can't. But I also like this. They introduced sequences like these, just to give a little area point advantage. But uh, this is what the coins are for: the, to sell loot and buy gadgets. Gadgets were basically upgrades. You get more, and more, more throughout the game as you progress through the game. Some of them are actually required, so be on the lookout for those. I tell you, Bentley. It's gonna be a real pleasure robbing this nightclub. I share in your enthusiasm, but before we hit the inside, we'll need to do a little reconnaissance work. What do you have in mind? I've installed this special antenna on the safe house to help with our first job, hacking into Dimitri's satellite array. The coordinates for the job start beacon have been uploaded to your binocucom. Make your way to this position, and I'll give you a full briefing on our objective. I'm on my way. So yeah, the, it's more open worldy. It's still kind of like the first game. How uh, you can choose what missions you gotta do when. If you click the L3 button, you know, press the left analog stick. I'll beam some virtual markers into your feet back. They'll help you find your way around. I need you to hack into Dimitri's communication array so that we'll have access to his database. How am I supposed to do that? To start, you'll need to get to the top of that tower. Then, reposition the satellite dish to point at my safe house antenna. If you want to climb on stuff, jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Try climbing up that pipe. Right. Jump and press the circle button to climb pipes. I'm on it. But, uh, basically tutorial heaven, and that's not my fault, though. I projected holographic markers near interactive objects like the satellite dish. When you're near these markers, press the circle button to use the object. So my dad just got home, but there's gonna be another, I think there's gonna be another cutscene, I think. Or something of the sort. Great. The nope. Uh, it's repeating itself. And, uh, you can see if, the, if I would turn the camera back around. You see that? You see that right over there? I'm looking straight at. And let me zoom in for you. That's a clue bottle. They're back. Except they're not in specific areas in the game, or missions in this case. It is actually throughout the whole. Um, overworld, if you put it like that. Or, I'm gonna go to city. Overall, over the hub. I'm gonna call it the hub, because I like hub. But, uh, I'm gonna do that, and uh, I'm gonna speed up doing that. I actually learned how to do that finally. I've been lazy. I never learned to do that on Camtasia, but hey, I finally figured it out. And I'm also going to show you where to go after you get all those clue bottles. There's like 30 in each stage of memory, if from memory, you know, whatever, if memory serves me right. And, you know, it's required to get 100%. And, uh, I'll explain that that a little bit more in detail during the actual clue bottle video. It's not going to be a specific clue bottle video, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and get all the clue bottles sped up, of course. And this is... Oh, I better show up. Ah, oh, he's hurt. It's too late. They added the sprint function. This is sneaking function, as in you can walk around like this and sneak up behind... Some, excuse me. Sneak up behind someone like this and walking. But if you tap the R1 button to hold it down, you will break out into a fast sprint. So, it's probably not the best idea to do that unless you are low on health and you want to get out of there. Nice work, Sly. I'm downloading from Dimitri's mainframe. 
operate as we speak. All in a night's work. So, where do we go from here? Your next job is to break into the nightclub and take some reconnaissance photos of the clockwork tail feathers. To get inside, you'll have to sneak through an old wine cellar beneath town. Okay, I'll head out for the cellar. I love windy days like this, but uh... So this next mission basically explains kind of like battle stuff. And I'm showing four clue bottles here here so uh I don't have to run around and get them. I say I say it I said four but there's another one I'm probably right there. I'm gonna get because it's right there and it's like I'm not gonna save this for a separate video. And it took me like 18 minutes to find the, the 30 clue bottles so I'm cutting I'm not cutting most of it. I'm fast forwarding it and I'm cutting out a little bit because it's just me going uh, now, um, it probably hasn't taught you this, and it probably won't for a little bit, but you can actually pickpocket the guards. I'm gonna show that later on. Well, I might. Uh, I did it in the freaking clue bottle thing. Hold on. Good to see you, little buddy. I guess the way through the wine cellar is guarded by those rats. Bentley thought you might like some help clearing them out. Sounds like fun. You and me, back to back? Totally. Outnumbered, fighting impossible odds. It's perfect. All right, pal. Let's get to it. So this is actually a pretty good place to uh, grind up for coins. And yeah, if you... Yeah, yeah. So this basically teaches you uh, that the enemies can get back up and they can hurt you. Basically. And by the way, square button is to attack. In case you didn't know that already. So, basically that's the gist of it. On, Sly. Let me lower those bars for you. There you go. To get over this thing, you'll have to double jump. Hit the X button to jump. Then, while in the air, press it again to get some extra air time. Looks like you're on your own from here. Eh, I'm used to it. Thanks for the help. Anytime, partner. So I just taught you how to double jump, which is pretty cool. Um, keep going that. Whenever I'm thinking, it's like, oh, hate when I do that. I, I I hate when I do that, and I hate when girls are like are gonna say like twenty four times in one sentence like um this is how you do this and like um this like 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 so whenever you see blue sparkles blue auras you probably want to press the circle button this is just the thing yeah that's another thing flashlight guards take a lot of hits from sly so you probably want to avoid them as best as possible. There's actually a better way of uh, dealing with them. You're gonna find this out in a minute. But uh, you mostly want to hide from them. They can't. They don't have peripheral vision. They can only see what they see in the flashlight. So I warn you that now. There are like three types of enemies. There's. There are three types of enemy base enemies basically. You got that? You got that? God, Bentley, I. I you, you, uh. Anyway, that sneak attack slam only works on guards who haven't seen you. Wait until this guy turns his back and then let him have it. Uh, that's how you basically get rid of these. That's a one shot, but it's like Bentley said, noisy. Uh, you get an upgrade for that way late in the game. 
that called Silent Obliteration, which you were able to do without setting off guards, which is my personal favorite. That's what I just explained. But, uh, damn it. Like, I was starting before I was interrupted by Bentley. Uh, damn turtle. Gonna make turtle steal. Gonna, gonna be just me and Dr. Lobato. By the way, if you didn't, if I didn't explain this, Lobato comes from, Dr. Lobato comes from the word lobotomy. Which, uh, you don't really need to talk to me or look it up. <laughs> just watch Shutter Island. Room. Now see how... See the... Why the hell would there be a printing press room? In a nightclub? <sighs> Excuse me. I've been bored all day, so this is what I've been doing. I can't go out. I couldn't go out because of the rain and wind. Uh, rain, so... The heart of Dimitri's operation. The hell? Head for those windows and take some reconnaissance photos. See, I don't like the spike game. I like the binocu combo. See, it's it's spy cam. Weird. See? Oh, that's the thing to take photos with. Okay, never mind. Caution, please don't blow up the generator. Best line ever. That generator seems to be powering the security systems down here. And maybe everything. But tail feathers. Ingenious. Dimitri's using the clockwork tail feathers as printing plates. Given their rare alloy, they'll never wear out. Unlimited forged money. Unlimited. Uh, but, uh, ah! Come back, come back, come back. Come back. Come back! I need to take pictures of you. Grace is sweet! I just spoiled something in the game. No, I didn't. Uh, he says. our target. Dimitri, professional lounge lizard and international forger. That's a different that thing. Do it, Sly. Head back to the safe house and we'll cook up a plan of attack. <laughs> So the next thing is also pretty new in the game, and that's <gasps> slideshows. The recon photos are a grim reminder of what the modern thief is up against. Spotlights, stepped-up patrols. The sum of it all renders a direct assault impossible. To solve this puzzle, I'm going to need some more intelligence. First, replace this bugged painting with one Dimitri has in his office. Once in place, we should be able to listen in on his communications. Second, if you see the boss, tail him. We might learn something from studying his movements. Once we've got a proper understanding of the operation, those clockwork tail feathers are as good as ours. Yeah, but it's gonna be some time before that happens. <laughs> God. <laughs> but, uh... I guess that's about it for this episode. Hope you guys liked it. And, uh, I'll see you guys next time on Slide 2. Bye.